backs up. Hello guys, it is Dylan here and today I'm going to be doing my Payback 2017 predictions. Yes, Payback is this Sunday and I'm going to be doing my predictions for the show. But before I do, before I get into them, actually if Pure Massacre just happened and you have to go check it out. The link's in the description. Go watch it. After this video, of course. And yeah, it's a good show. It takes off like a shooting star. Um, it's, it's a good show. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. It was a good match. Um, I quit match too, so I quit, man. That's heavy. Um, so anyways, let's get into the predictions. First match is Enzo Amore and Big Cast taking on the club with Gals and Carl Anderson. I gotta admit, both of these teams kind of suck right now. Mostly Enzo and Big Cast. Uh, they are really fucking boring. Whoops, I swore. They are really boring. I don't like them. They're boring. Um, I just... I hope you guys see where I'm coming from. I hope you guys feel it too, honestly. Like, they suck. Like, they were good at one point. They were really good at one point. But they are so bad right now. Like, I don't know what it is, but maybe the times are changing and they need to change too. I don't know, but come on. Do something. Um, and then, uh, the club, they're kind of, eh, like, they're not bad, but they're just mm, not that good. Um, I think they need a little extra oomph, I guess you could say. That oomph should be, like, you know, Finn Baller. Maybe it's just, just, just an idea. Just an idea. Um, who do I think's gonna win? I, I gotta be honest, I haven't been paying attention to their segments as of late, so honestly, I don't know. I don't know segment-wise, like, from, like, what they've been doing. I don't know who's on a roll and whatever. Um, I'm gonna say... I'm gonna go bold, and I'm gonna say Enzo and Big Chaos are gonna win. I kind of was thinking the club, but the club usually wins in this kind of situation, so Enzo and Chaos gotta win. Um, next... Neville versus Austin Aries for the Cruiserweight Championship. This is going to be a decent match. Although we've seen it a million times before, I think it's still going to be pretty good. Um, and Austin Aries needs to win. If he doesn't win, it's pointless. It kind of sucks. So, my prediction, Austin Aries is going to become the new Cruiserweight Champion. Believe that. Next, the Hardy Boys vs. Zero and Sheamus for the Tag Team Championships of Raw. This is going to be a good one, too. I love the Hardy Boys. They're the best thing going on Raw, I think. Um, and I do think they're going to win. A lot of people are theorizing that they just... People think that they just bought the broken gimmick from Impact. Apparently they did. And a lot of people are thinking they're going to lose and then they're going to become broken. And I don't see that happening. I think that's too predictable. I think it's going to wait a little bit longer. But I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. But I honestly, I think the Hardy Boys are going to win. They just won the belts of Mania. Come on. Um, next, Seth Rollins versus Samoa Joe. Um, I'm not really that pleased with this match. Um, I love both the guys. I just don't know how good they're going to do, like, in the ring together. Uh, I think Seth Rollins needs to win this one because he needs that retribution for, you know, Samoa Joe injuring him. Um, if he doesn't win, I think the whole match is kind of weird. It's kind of, eh. Or maybe they could establish Joe as a monster, but come on. Just just give Seth the win. It'll make more sense. So my prediction is Seth. Next, Kevin Owens versus Chris Jericho for the United States Championship. <sighs> Apparently, Chris Jericho is leaving. Again, for Falsy. Good for him for having a band, but it sucks that he's leaving. And apparently this Raw coming up is going to be his last Raw. Meaning, he can't really win the belt. Um, I don't think he's going to win it anyway, but he, he just can't. Um, so my prediction is Kevin Owens. I do think it's going to be a good match, but it's kind of clear that Kevin Owens is going to be the winner. And Chris Jericho is going to go do his thing with Fozzie. Next, Bailey versus Alexa Bliss for the Raw Women's Championship. This would be a good one. Both extremely, extremely talented women. I am so happy this match is happening. I think Alexa Bliss is going to win. 
Um, Bailey's held the belt for a while. I think it's time for a new champ. And it's good timing because Alexa Bliss needs to state her claim. She needs to prove her dominance on Raw. And this is the perfect time for it. I think she's going to become the new Raw Women's Champion at Payback. Next, Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman. And I'm not done with you, Roman! Match. Um, this should be a good one. I know they fought before, but I think this will be good. Um, they've been doing really good build with this, so I think they're going to do some good. But, 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 Roman Reigns is definitely fucking winning, which is, you know, the worst part. Um... But they've been doing good build. Like, I'll give them fucking that. Like, you know, Braun Strowman's been destroying fucking everybody, which is great. Um, I'm not done with you, Roman. Fucking flips an ambulance. Like, they've been doing some good build. I dig it. I dig it. So, I like it. But Roman Reigns is going to win. So, that kind of sucks. But, whatever. What can you do? Uh, next, the main event of the evening is a SmackDown match. Which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But it is. And it is the House of Horrors match. Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt. Not even for the goddamn belt. It's just a House of Horrors match. Like, meh. Now, there's a lot of problems with this. First, it's a SmackDown match. Second, what the fuck's the House of Horrors? What is that? It sounds like a fucking Ravens match from TNA. The fucking Clockwork Orange House of Horrors match. What the fuck? Stop stealing shit. Um, what do I think it's going to be? Personally, I think it's going to be an Asylum kind of match. It's going to be like the Ambrose Asylum thing. Um, I feel like there's going to be like weapons involved and it's going to be like a steel cage. I feel like it's going to be going to be like that TNA thing. Um, like there's like a cage and they have like weapons all around it, like on the sides. Maybe not, but I kind of think that would be neat. Um, maybe they'll fight in a burned down house. That's an idea. No, <laughs> clearly just joking about that one, but I don't know. What do you guys think it's going to be? I don't fucking know. I don't have an idea. I just kind of think it's going to be like an asylum. Um, and who's winning? So it's not for the SmackDown belt, clearly. Which is weird because it, why would they have a SmackDown match on a Raw pay-per-view? They've been booking this really fucking weird. I'll tell you that much. Um, I understand. Bray's a Raw guy. Randy's a SmackDown guy. Randy's champ. Bray is on Raw. They clearly can't have it for the SmackDown belt because if... Bray wins and the belt goes to Raw, meaning that it's just not SmackDown belt. It would be a clusterfuck of bullshittery. So clearly that's why it's not a uh, ma title match. Um, and who do I think is going to win? I think Bray's going to win because I think he needs a lot of momentum going on to Raw um, over SmackDown. He needs that win. He needs the momentum going on to Raw. So. Bray Wyatt is going to win the Asylum match. That's probably the main reason it's not a title match, because Wyatt's going to win. Because, you know, they can't give Wyatt the belt. Anyways, guys, that's the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed my predictions. If you did, remember to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe for more. Share this video with all your friends. Follow me on uh, Twitter, at DylanWansonYT. Follow me on in, uh, Instagram if you want. I can't even speak. Follow me on Instagram if you want, at the Dylan Watson. Go check out X3 of Pure Massacre. Links in the description below. I will see you all in the next video.